Hi everyone, and welcome to the first preview for Hyperdruken's second set, Power Surge. Due to some new concepts introduced in Power Surge, this time around we will be looking at the signature cards before their respective fighters. This will make more sense in coming weeks, but today we start with the Berserker, the red fighter for Power Surge, Mark the Grizzly Bear. A fighter from a young age, Mark was one of the first scouted for the Hyperdruken roster. Known throughout the fighting community, Mark is a large, intimidating man that can take the blows, then hit back harder, using his impressive body size to his advantage. Mark's red deck is the most player friendly and easiest to pilot from Power Surge. The only difficult part of playing as Mark is getting the right attacks to hit so he can finish the game with his devastating Supreme Crusher. Power Surge expands on the signature card concept introduced in the new challenges by introducing signature attacks for each of the new fighters. Unlike the Hyper Attack, a big flashy high power maneuver meant for finishing fights, the signature attack is the fighter's iconic move, either used to lead into the Hyper Attack or having synergy with the Hyper Form. Mark's signature attack is the Supreme Choke Slam, a level 1 grapple with 4 POW that raises Mark's Hyper 2 when performed, and if its POW is 6 plus, it gains a block restriction clause. It can only be blocked by a breaker card or by an effect. But wait, there's more! In addition to that block restriction, his Hyper cannot be lowered by breaker or block effects during that action. Finally, should it hit, your opponent becomes stunned. Supreme Choke Slam is a multi-use tool. By itself, if you unlock all of its effects, it's a good chunk of damage that is hard to block and protects your Hyper. Or, when taken in the context of you having 7 Hyper, when you perform it, Supreme Choke Slam transforms into the setup for the finishing blow. Everything it does is synergistic with the concept of the Hyper Attack and perfectly leads into Mark's Supreme Crusher. More on that later. Mark is Hyperdruken's first fighter with a Golden Rule. Golden Rules are deck building restrictions in a Golden Box. This will either directly relate to your arsenal like Mark or be an attribute that places restrictions on the card being placed into your corner or being packed in your arsenal, such as Signature. For Mark, his arsenal can only include up to 8 block cards instead of the normal 12. The front side of a heavy fighter like Mark can have up to 2 effects over the normal 1 seen on an average or light fighter. Mark's punches, kicks and grapples all gain plus 1 POW, while he prevents 1 combat damage from all of your opponent's attacks. Plus one POW doesn't seem like much, but it adds up very quickly. After both players draw their initial hands, they have 36 cards left in their respective arsenals, or the equivalent of 9 level 1 attacks making full contact. Mark brings it down to 7.2, or 7 level 1 attacks and 1 level 0. Take into account your opponent will still be drawing cards over the course of a fight, then the amount of attacks that need to make full contact shrinks even more. The same goes in reverse too. Mark prevents so much damage over a game, he doesn't need to block as much, especially when paired with breaker cards and other assorted forms of recovery. Furthermore, by preventing all damage an attack would inflict, their hit effects cannot be used. Attacks need to inflict combat damage to use their hit effects. This is a bit more relevant than it looks too, as you'll see when the set releases. As Mark is an EX fighter, he has a hyper attack. So what about that Supreme Crusher I mentioned? Supreme Crusher is, as of Hyperdruken's sixth set, in the running for the most terrifying hyper attack. It can go for infinite damage and is hard to block. Supreme Crusher is a new type of attack, called a hold. Holds are different to all other attacks in Hyperdruken in that they don't do set damage, but inflict combat damage until your opponent can break the hold. 
This means they can't gain POW or have their combat damage prevented either. To break the hold, your opponent needs to reveal as combat damage an amount of block cards equal to the level of the hold. Supreme Crusher being level 3 means they need to reveal 3 block cards as combat damage before the hold is broken. Supreme Crusher also has the same block restriction clause Supreme Chokeslam gains when its power is 6 plus. This is what makes Supreme Chokeslam such a powerful setup, provided you can get it up to 6 plus POW. You have 2 attacks in a row that can only be blocked by a breaker card or by an effect. While one can have its combat damage prevented, their second is unpredictable. Supreme Crusher could do 3 damage, it could do 30 damage. It all depends on when your opponent can break the hold. Sometimes it's so late in the game that there aren't 3 blocks left in your opponent's arsenal. It's game ending. Other times, it's over as soon as it starts, and was a bit of a waste. That's just how holds work. But on virtue of being a level 3 hyper attack, Supreme Crusher is among the hardest to break. Mark is a physical powerhouse, and very symbolic of a heavy fighter in Hyper Jukin. He may not have the most fancy of moves, but he's fun to play and hits like a truck. Your opponent will need to know how to handle a Mark matchup, or the game is going to be over very quickly. Thank you for watching today's preview video for Hyper Jukin Alpha Block Set 2 Power Surge. Remember to like, subscribe, and share to keep up to date with Hyperdrukin card game news and content. Come back next week when we look at the second character for Power Surge, D-Stinger the Wasp.